Aisha is a teacher in Kabul, and she can't meet with her students in class anymore. She doesn't want to stop their learning, so she needs to explore her distance learning delivery options. Her students are spread out throughout the region, and their internet connection varies. They also have limited power supplies. Most students have access to mobile phones during part of the week, and they like to stay in contact with their friends and family through secure chat channels. There are lots of options Aisha could consider. For course content, like readings, notes, videos, audio recordings, assignments, and activities, she could email the content to her students. She might be able to mail them physical materials or a USB with files for them. She could create an online space to share materials. She could use something like Google Classroom or find a program with a learning management system like DD Courses or Classroom. To communicate with her students, Aisha has a few options. She could use a program like Slack or Discord and create a separate channel where her students can talk about topics related to her courses. She could also use apps that students are already comfortable with, like WhatsApp or Signal. If she uses an online classroom space like a Google Classroom or DD Classroom, she could create discussion spaces there. She could also set up meetings using an app that allows live meetings like Zoom, Google Meets, or DD Classroom's Big Blue Button. She'll need to investigate what will work best for her as a teacher and what will be best for her students, given their current living and learning situations. Will they have enough data or internet access to use an online classroom? Is it safe for them to meet online? Do they have devices that will allow them to use online materials? It's complex and challenging to work through the options and find a solution for students learning in complex environments, but it's absolutely worth the effort to find the right fit.